All right, IndyCar series, Honda, Indy, Toronto. Favorite star courses, what to expect. Um, I, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, it's a street course race. I just, I well, I guess what I expect. I expect Pelot to win this race. I mean, we've said it time and time again. He is the most dominant driver in IndyCar. Race strategist, probably the best race strategist, not only in IndyCar, not only in, in, in that, in open wheel racing, probably in the world. This dude is an absolute legend. If you're a young, inspiring race strategist, engineer, follow this guy. This guy is absolutely got it figured out. This dude's insane. Um, and then for my dark horse, I'm going to take Felix Rosenquist just because he got a podium here last year in the street course race. And I have a feeling that Aero McLaren, um, I feel like it's his time. I mean, he's, we've seen what Pato's done so far this year. He's been pretty hit and miss. But, I mean, out of the three Aero McLaren cars, he's been the most consistent. And I just think Rosenquist is one of these weeks, man. Something crazy is going to happen for him, and he's going to find his way up into victory lane, and it could be this weekend. So that's my dark horse. Uh, I've got Polo as well. Again, you'd just be insane not to choose him for your favorite. Um, I, I don't I don't need to go any further than that. <laughs> uh, but uh, for my dark horse, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to go with Lungard. And the reason why is because... RLL put on such an turnaround last race at Mid Ohio. I, what I I'm not like I'm not joking. What they did at Mid Ohio was unbelievable. They found something, and it's working. And uh, it took them a long time to find it. I they found it now. Mid Ohio and Toronto not even close to being similar, but. I'm like I said, going out on a limb here and hoping that what they learned at Mid Ohio they can somewhat apply to Toronto. 